Hi, this is John Galvez with Marcon, and in today's update we're going to talk about how this recent heat spike in the Salinas Watsonville area is affecting some of the strawberries here. Uh, we've been flirting with temperatures right around 100 degrees. It's much cooler now, about 15 degrees cooler uh, today and should cool off the rest of the week here. But the damage has been done on a lot of this fruit, especially any of the fruit that's directly facing the sun, uh, this north bed here. The, the sunlight and the direct heat is directly facing this side and you can see the damage that it's causing, especially to the fruit that's uh, already ripe. But even the green fruit, it's gonna get a sunburn on it. It's gonna be much harder uh, for that fruit to recover and it'll most likely have to be culled. Um, this other side had more cover, no direct sun or heat. It's still been warm, but uh, you can see that the fruit on this side of the bed, you're not seeing nearly as much of the damage. There's still really nice fruit here. Um, but we will see smaller sizing overall in the wake of a heat spike like uh, the one that we just had. You know, the, the berries kind of, the plants kind of shut down when it gets too, too hot. And what will happen is this green fruit will, will color up, it'll ripen faster than it's growing. So it's very common to see smaller sized fruit after a heat spike of three or four days like we've just had. Um, so anyhow, that's all we wanted to pass along. Really interesting to see the difference uh, one side of the bed to the other. Uh, and it's all related to the amount of sunlight and direct heat that they, the berries were exposed to. Uh, that's all for now. We're gonna keep watching and hopefully uh, uh, we'll be able to report better quality overall very soon after a few rotations. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.